What's up guys, Tion here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite IFTTT shortcuts of 2018. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with IFTTT, it's basically if this and that. If this, then that is an app that allows you to add custom shortcuts between different applications so that way the app can get your actions done for you without you having to open the app and do it yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my favorite applets. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Now before I begin this video, every applet that I will be talking about will be used below in the description. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go ahead and click the description button just before the like video button, which will give you a view of all the applets that I used in today's video. If you guys want to use these shortcuts on iOS, they do work in the background. So if you do want them to work, you'll have to make sure that IFTTT is available for background app refresh within settings of your iOS device. In order to get to this, you need to open up the settings app, go to general, click on background app refresh, make sure it's turned on and make sure IFTTT has the green check mark next to it. All right, now let's get into the video. All right, so my first applet of the day is every day at 6 p.m. Give me a weather report for the next day. This shortcut usually runs within one minute. The reason why I like this applet is because I no longer have to ask Siri for the weather report for tomorrow. It will automatically add the weather for the next day to my calendar and it works within one minute. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is enable it and give the application access to your location while you're not using the app because it's going to constantly be tracking your location to update the weather periodically so if you're in new york it'll give you the weather for the next day in new york and if you're in another country it'll keep updating your location for the next day if you guys are interested i'll leave this applet down in the description my next applet for you guys is say thank you to the twitter follower who recently followed you on Twitter. I like this applet because whenever I get a new follower, I usually like to go through the list and send them thank you messages, you know, just to be nice. It's just a funny little shortcut that I decided to add into the video. I use it every day. Now this applet usually runs within a few seconds, but I've seen it run faster than that. You do need to link your IFTTT account with Twitter and it will guide you through that process. As soon as you click the enable applet button, you will be asked to sign into your Twitter account, which is just a few easy steps. Okay, next applet. Okay, so the third shortcut that I want to share with you guys is tweet whenever I upload a video to YouTube. Now, this is an extremely good shortcut because let's say I'm in school or you're doing something else at your office and then you decide to upload a video to YouTube, but you don't have time to post it on any other social media website. IFTTT has got you covered. What you need to do is link IFTTT with your YouTube and Twitter account. Once again, it will guide you through that process. And once you're finished, whenever you upload a video to YouTube, it will work within an hour. But again, I've seen it work Faster than that, all depends on your internet connection. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it linked below in the description. The next applet is tweet my Instagram video. Now you guys already guessed whenever I upload a video to Instagram, it will automatically tweet it on Twitter with a link so that way my Twitter followers can go to my Instagram and watch the video for themselves. But the problem with this is that it doesn't tweet the actual video. It just gives you a link, which I wish IFTTT would fix. This applet usually runs within an hour to a few minutes. But I've seen it work faster than that. If you guys are interested, it will be down below in the description. All right guys, so my next applet is tweet your Instagram photos as native photos on Twitter. Whenever I post a photo to Instagram, it will also post to Twitter. The only problem I have with this shortcut is that I don't need a link to the actual photo on Instagram because it already shows me a photo. The only problem I have with the video one is it doesn't show me the video. I like to watch the video inside of Twitter whenever I post my photos to Instagram. But this one posts a photo and a link and I only need one, just the photo. This applet runs within an hour to a minute. That all depends on your internet connection. All right, guys, those are all the applets that are my personal favorites of 2018. If you guys want to use these applets, they will be down in the description. And you will need to have the If This Then That app. A shorter way to call that is IFTTT. You will also need to have an account with IFTTT to link it with every other service that the applet might acquire you to. Before I end this video, I do have to say this. Do not forget to vote for your favorite smartphone of 2018. The link will be in the pinned comments. I've been Tian Official. I'll see you guys in my next video. Well, tomorrow with more tech news about Apple. Because that's all you're going to see on this channel.